Hey, what's up, Mitch? All right. Yeah. Eventually, what we want to do is be able to do a snatch balance um, with your max, uh, with your max snatch, um, and even above that too as well. So, all right. So make sure that we're dropping straight now. Notice how you're jumping forward a little bit. Okay. So it's gonna be straight down. Okay, and we want to elevate the bar as little as possible. All right. So you see how kind of those, the arm kind of jiggles around there a little bit, comes up. That's kind of like it's kind of like doing this on the way down. So we want to just make sure that the arms are super duper tight. You're catching it as low as you can. Actually, that one was a little bit better. Um, so it's all about just tightening up as you start receiving the squat. And the faster you can do that, the uh, the better your snatch is going to be. Okay, man. But that looked pretty good. Let's increase the weight next week. Um, and we'll uh, just focus on getting speed on the bar, okay? All right, this whole day is, all this technique stuff is really just about getting onto the bar. So in this jerk balance position, so just get that back foot where you want it. All right, so rotate the heel out just a little bit more, okay? And we're really just trying to get the elbows, the elbow and the foot timing down correct. All right. And notice how that knee's coming forward. All right. So we want that end position to be right there. And we want to make sure that drive is up and slightly back. All right. So the more the bar goes forward, the more you're going to have to put your weight forward which means in order to compensate for that, we need to get that front foot even further if we want to be balanced. So make sure that bar path is nice and straight. You're reaching that front foot forward and that knee stays directly over the ankle. Okay, man? All right, so this is kind of putting it all together. All right. It's all about just getting under the bar. Notice how you elevate the bar. So it's kind of going up and then you come down. We want that bar to just stay where it is and you're gonna get under the bar. So keep that in mind when we're doing this drill is we wanna press ourselves under the bar, get the elbows to lock out before the, before the feet hit the ground, okay? And foot timing looks pretty good, man. I know I said I wanna emphasize the front foot hitting second, but it's okay if they land together I just don't want an excessive front foot landing for first because that tells me all the weights on your front foot, okay, man? All right, so this drill is really meant to help build bar path, okay? So this actually looks pretty damn good, all right? So we want a nice straight bar path on these push presses. That's how your hips slide forward a little bit. All right, so I'd actually like your hips to start there on the start of the dip, all right? And notice how that bar is already forward a little bit. You actually see it, if you look at this light here, notice how it kind of closes that gap. All right, now the bar is a little forward and now you gotta kind of overcompensate by driving it back. So we'll see how balanced this dip is. All right, you see how forward that bar is? All right, and now it's starting to move this way so that's why you kind of land the front foot heavy. Most of the weight's on the toe, the heel's off the ground. So you want to make sure that jerk drive is perfectly up and down. Think of it almost, think of the split jerk as it's just a push press. It's a push press and you're pressing yourself under it. So I'd like to see your jerk drives just like you're doing your push press, okay man? All right. So reset in between each rep. I don't want any touch and goes. It's okay if you even want to like let go of the bar. And I'm told like, see how straight your arms are? All right, I like the, uh, the straight arms, but especially on that extension, just keep the arms loose. So I want to see like a slight bend in the elbows on the extension. Like, so sort of like 
guide it up a little bit, but I don't want it to be a high pull, okay? So arms stay loose after the extension, just guide it up with the elbows just a tiny bit, okay, man? 